Hi guys! Today we're going to look at using the incredible power of AI to render our animations twice as fast. So this is an animation I've been working on for a client. I'm currently rendering it out at 12 frames per second. And here's the same animation at 25 frames per second with every other frame added by the AI. Today I'm going to show you how it all works and how quick and easy it is to do and how it can half your render times. It really is incredible. Okay, so we're gonna start off in Blender. So this is a project I've been working on uh, for a client recently. It's a, a geodesic dome. Um, it's basically quite a simple scene, just a few elements. We've got some trees here, um, some bushes which are animated. I'll just press play, you can just see the animation, the trees. Um, and then the actual scene looks like this. I'll just press um, F12 to render. Right, so as you can see, the scene took uh, 15 seconds to render. So my current animation is uh, 200 frames long. It's got two different camera views in it. And with the magic of some mathematics, uh, if it's 15 seconds a frame, that's 200 frames, that's 3000 seconds, that's 50 minutes of rendering time. Well, that's no good, that's too long. So what we're going to do, instead of rendering all the frames, we're going to render half of them. And this little control here, under your um, Output Properties tab, is called Step. And normally it's set to one, that means it renders every frame. But by setting it to two, it only renders every other frame. So now when we go to render the animation, up here, um, it'll actually render just 100 frames instead of all 200. So taking the render time down to 25 minutes. Okay, I'm going to do that now. And with the magic of editing, 25 minutes later, we can see all 100 frames have passed. You can see from their frame names that they're actually uh, skipping every other frame. So you can see it goes 11 to 13 to 15. Um, so these are the frames. Um, we've got every other frame playing. Right, so now what we do we open up Flow Frames. So Flow Frames um, is a brilliant program. It uses artificial intelligence uh, to interpolate um, the missing frames. So this is the website Flow Frames comes from. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and you just pretty much click download now. You can actually put a price in here if you want to, or you can just click no thanks, take it to the downloads. But it's great to support these people because um, the work they do is fantastic. Um, so you just download the uh, FlowFrames web installer and I just use all the default settings on the install. So once FlowFrames is downloaded, it looks like this. Um, and what you do, it's quite simple. You firstly browse for the folder where all your frames are in. And you click select folder. Then you choose an output folder. I'm just gonna choose the parent folder for that. Um, you set your input frames per second so I'm going to set it to 12 and a half frames per second because I want my output frames per second to be twice as fast which is 25 frames per second so 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 and you can choose to output frames if you want to an image sequence down here or you can choose to output as an mp4 and just for the sake of quickness I'm going to use uh, an mp4 so I can show you quickly the results and that's it you click interpolate so as you can see, it says detected one scene change. So that means it's detected that there's two different camera angles in it. It's then interpolating all the frames. So remember this took me 25 minutes to render. Now it's encoding the video. Total processing time 32 seconds. That is incredible. Let's take a look. So we can see here, we've got the new video file that it's created. Let's just double click it and play it. That is buttery smooth, beautiful. You would never know that these frames have been interpolated. Even if you look at the tree animation here, it's, it's beautiful. There's no stuttering or, or even any artifacts that you would normally see from AI. This really is a game changer. So I basically saved half of my render time for the sake of an extra 32 seconds. 
Wow, that really is incredible, isn't it? Twice the speed for just an extra 32 seconds. Um, it blows my mind. Just a bit of other information. I'm using K-Cycles as my uh, new render engine. It really is very quick. It pretty much doubles the speeds of your renders straight away off the bat. I was getting 30 second renders in regular Blender and K-Cycles 3 um, is just doing them in half that speed, which is incredible for a start. Uh, I'm using assets from Polygon Eek. The Botanic pack is fantastic for adding uh, realistic vegetation really quickly and it looks amazing. Really ups the quality of your renders. And I'm also adding some um, post effects in K-Cycles. I'm using some of the lens effects, uh, including lens flare and glare, to get that lovely realistic bokka with a bit of glow on it as well. It looks great. Okay, I'm looking forward to the next tutorial. I'll see you guys soon.